Hey lovelies and welcome back to the second installment of my weekend vlogging series. So yeah, there's only going to be two episodes, but basically I did a vlog yesterday and um, yeah, I did a vlog yesterday and basically that was me cooking dinner. It's actually just gone up. So make sure to go watch it and stream before you stream this one because that would make more sense. But this is basically the second one where I am going to be baking a banana loaf. Sorry, I'm in a good mood. I've just been singing Aspa, so I'm in a good mood. So, okay. Um, if you hear a bunch of background noises, it's either my dogs or my cats. Or me, so lol. Um, but today we'll be following a Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oli Oliver or Olive? Oliver. We'll be following a we'll be following a Jamie Oliver recipe on how to make a banana loaf. So let's do that. I actually haven't followed this recipe before ever, ever. But my mum says this is a good one. So we're gonna get straight into the baking. Okay, I need to calm down. I look like I'm on crack. I will link down the recipe below, but um, if you want to follow along with this video instead of the recipe so you can actually see if it works, which you won't know will be, you need 125 grams of unsalted butter, you need two large eggs, you need four ripe bananas, two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of unsweetened apple juice, right, 250 grams of self-raising flour, one big pinch of ground cinnamon, and 50 grams of pecans optional i think we're using walnuts we're using the other one we're not using pecans um but yeah that's what you're gonna need and now let's follow along with the recipe okay so that's what you want to gonna want to do is preheat your oven but we're gonna do that later because this will take me an hour um i don't want to do that in the large bowl use a wooden spoon to beat the soft butter until creamy. okay so i do have less soft butter it's like room temperature so that's 125 grams, and we're gonna beat it with a wooden spoon. Okay, well I can't be asked. I'm using a, an electric whisk. Hope it doesn't affect it. Also, there's no sugar in this recipe. It's just banana and apple juice, which is like the only sweet thing. So let's just hope it doesn't um, taste like grossness. That looks pretty creamy, and if you ask me, so I only beat it up for literally like a second. Okay, so next, what we need to do is crack in the two eggs and then beat it in to this uh, until it's like creamy, but it's gonna be lumpy, it says, so we'll just get the egg. And um, you know what, we're gonna use this bowl because there's no reason to keep using different bowls. I always like to crack my eggs in a separate bowl because I always get a shell in it because I'm stupid and dumb. Have you guys been watching Love Island this year? Because low key. It was, it's been like a really weird season. This is the first season I've watched Love Island, but all my other friends have like watched the other ones. I hate cracking eggs, I'm so bad at cracking eggs. Why is everyone calling each other fake and everyone's claiming each other are playing games, but like you say one word and you're like accused of playing a game. Get over yourself. You just add it and then you mix. Just gonna scrape the edges. Okay, so next we have to peel three bananas, then mash and smush them into the mix with a fork so you've got a mixture of smooth and chunky. Here are the bananas, you need three, so they have to be super ripe apparently, don't know why, but we actually found super ripe ones at the store, which was good. These are like really, really ripe and the other ones are like green, so it was good. We found this, these guys, they'll get to good use. It says use a fork, but I have like a little masher. Would that be better? Like I got a little potato masher and I, I used it with the other recipe I, I once made. Ew, I really don't like the feel of bananas. But also bananas are low-key like really good. Not sure how I feel about putting them all in the same mixture. I feel like that's just kind of weird. Like don't you just like, don't you do dry ingredients first and then you do the wet stuff like the butter and the sugar. Well, there is no sugar in this recipe. We've established that. Do I add an extra banana? Because we have one more ripe one. It'll just be wasted. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to do this for now. And then if I... I might as well just add that one because... Yeah. Okay, so we use a fork, it says. But I don't know if... You know what? I'm just going to use my mashup because, like, it's cute. Ooh. This looks really good, guys. It doesn't look like vomit at all. Not going to lie. It didn't say mix in. It just says mash it mash and smush them into the mix with a fork but i'm using this because it's cute so you've got smooth and chunky mix this is very smooth and chunky at the same time so i think we 
really like did it justice. I'm really contemplating putting the other banana in. Because we have one more banana and he's gonna be all alone if we don't use him. And he'll just get thrown away. We're you know what? We're gonna do it. I'm not having him be thrown away. He's gonna be used. Even if this means it's too bananary, then we did it for a good cause, guys. I'm all about the good cause. Let's mash him in the mash. Now we need to mix in, stir in the honey and apple juice, then use a spatula to fold in the flour and the cinnamon. So let's get the, okay, so we need two tablespoons of runny honey, two tablespoons of unsweetened apple juice. Okay, well I thought I had apple juice, but it turns out we don't. So I'm gonna do brown sugar instead of apple juice, but yeah. So we need two tablespoons of honey. To, runny, this is runny, right? Yeah, it's runny. Okay, so like, especially close to the camera. Okay, so two tablespoons, we'll just fill this up. Ooh, honey smells so good. Mmm, I haven't had honey on anything for like ages. I used to have it a lot as a kid, like on toast. I also got myself a Capri Sun, because it's cute. Okay, and then we're gonna do two tablespoons of brown sugar, because I don't have apple juice. I figured this would be the closest. That's actually quite a lot. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna add that much. Okay, and now I'm just gonna stir it in. I'll just use this because like, it's easy. Oh my God, it smells so nice. Get out of here, it smells so good. Okay, next what we need to do is um, then use the spatula to fold it to fold in the flour and cinnamon. So I'm gonna go get that. Okay, so we need 125, no, 250 grams of self-raising flour and a pinch of cinnamon. I don't know how much a pinch is, so we'll just go with it. But I am going to measure out the flour first and then whisk in the cinnamon so it's like nice and incorporated. Oh. <gasps> That's like perfect, that's 251, but like who cares? Also, why is there like a big clump? And then we just add a pinch of cinnamon. How much is a pinch? Oh, that's not gonna be very easy, is it? Let's open it up. Okay, that's a pinch, guys. We're gonna go with that. And now we're just gonna whisk it in so it's nice and incorporated. Now we need to basically fold this in. I have a little fold thingy. I've been using it, so I guess, should I put like half in and then fold it and then do the other half? But like, so I forgot how to fold in stuff. <laughs> Ooh, this is such like a slushy measure. It's so hard to like fold in. I'm normally like folding like chocolate chips. Also that noise is the oven because I'm preheating it to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit or gas mark four. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest now. Guys, this looks amazing. Get out of here. You know what? I'm just gonna leave that in there because we have to crush up the little nuts. So if you're using, chop the pecans on a chopping board using the cross chop method or could bash them with a rolling pin, then fold them through the mixture. So I don't have pecans. It says use 50 grams of pecans, but I have walnuts and my dad says they're the same apparently. I don't like pecans or walnuts, so I will not be partaking in this tasting. So we need 50 grams and then we have to like crush them up with a rolling pin, which is actually gonna be really fun. So, okay, got it. Now we have to like crush them up. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> It looks like it's gonna be pretty nice. Okay, next, we have to spoon all the mixture into the loaf tin, then peel and slice the remaining banana. Wait, what? Oh shit, guys. So, wait, <laughs> I've done an oopsie. We were only supposed to use four ripe bananas, and then you put the remaining banana on top. Oops. Well, you know what, we've done it now, it's fine. We don't need banana on top, it's just for decoration. So we need a loaf tin. Here's my loaf tin. I hope it's big enough. This doesn't look very big. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna see how it goes. So let's get our butter so we can grease it. Mm. 
We actually did fill it up. I thought it was like, we're not gonna, we're gonna have to overflow it, but it did very nicely. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, cause I've seen like, I'm just gonna like smooth it out, I guess. Do we have to get the bubbles out? So we're going to bake for 40 to 50 minutes or until golden and cooked through. And it goes. Now we're going to be that for 40 to 50 minutes, like I said. I'm going to do 40 and I'll check at 40 to see if it's done. Every oven is different, so you'll, you'll wait and find out. In the meantime, I'm going to tidy up, go upstairs and just watch some YouTube, and I'll see you guys when it's done. So folks, I have, um, it's been 45 minutes. I did take it out at 40 and it, it didn't come out, it didn't come out completely done, but I will take it out now, it's been 45. I think it is um, probably done now, I'm just gonna. It smells so freaking good, like bananas, and it smells amazing. The top always appears a little burnt because it has to cook all the way through. But let's see, is it all the way cooked? is cooked all the way. Okay, great. We'll put it on that plate, but while we wait for that, I'm going to make myself some noodles. These are the noodles I'm having. They are beef. I've had these noodles literally since I was like a fetus, and they don't really sell it in supermarkets anymore. Um, so most of the time I have to order it online. So, later. So I like mine using the kettle. I don't like boiling it on the stove because I like how the noodles are still quite crunchy. When you use the kettle instead of the stove, it like really softens them up. And I'm not like a fan of like marinated in water. I kind of like it still kind of tasting like noodle flour. I always like do this so it gets to like the bottom because I don't want to cut like the top off. I just don't know. I've definitely made these on a video before. I think why in a day I made these noodles, which is funny because I'm eating them again. Okay, I need a can of water. I put this over the plate to trap the warmth in, and I let it sizzle for about like a minute, and then I eat them. Like I said, I like it when the noodles are still quite hard because they take a while to eat, and I really can't eat soft noodles. If the noodles are too soft, I just don't eat it because it's too gross. Um, so I like when the noodles are quite hard. And by the time you're like halfway through, there'll be like a good amount of soft, instead of them being like nice and soft at the beginning and then way too soft by the middle. So I kind of judge it like that. So I just kind of use a chopstick to spread them out because this is how you eat with chopsticks, definitely 100%. Just to spread them out. I don't think I added enough water. You like mix it a bit to get all the good juices flowing. And then bon appetit, I guess. I was gonna show you, but like, that's what they look like. Bon appetit, so I'm just gonna eat this and after I eat it, I'm gonna cut the banana cake um, and then do some homework afterwards. They're very nice. Love them. Okay guys, it's time to take it out the pan. Is it? It's not that hot actually, so we're gonna, what we're gonna first do is like, just kind of shape it a bit, so like, it's all like nice and shaken. And then I actually think the edges are actually good. I don't think I actually need to cut them. I don't want to do it, but I'm still gonna do it though. Now let's shake it out and see if it works. I hope it works. Well, there we go. <laughs> that really, my heart sunk when that like plopped out. But oh my God, look at it. I know it's like not the right thing to put it on, but it's a little cake thing and it's banana cake, bread cake, bread, whatever you want to think. But here is what it looks like. Anyways guys, we're gonna cut up a slice because my mother wants one. She's been bugging me for about 20 minutes to cut her a big slice of banana bread cake, bread cake. Okay. We have a knife. YouTube don't get mad, it's not a knife, it's a it's a cat. Okay, not as cute as aesthetic cut I thought it would be, but smells amazing. This is what the inside looks like. I am gonna give my mum this. Oh my god, it's like not cutting. I think I'm using like a really bad knife. I did, I used the wrong knife, didn't I? Um, not cute at all. At all, at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. Long. Okay, let me see if my mum likes it. It's homework time. So, I am gonna be doing my ICT homework. I have to finish off a paper that I was doing, but then I didn't finish it because I didn't know how to do it, but then I, Asked my friend like resources to help me do it and then she told me and I was like, oh, okay, great. So now I could do it. 
and then I have to mark the papers myself. Don't know why. And then I have to print them off because they're I have to hand it into the teacher tomorrow. So we are going to go into our files. It's basically a website authoring paper. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, it's basically you making a website. Right. Okay. So let's go to W W three schools HTML to help me with the code. Oh shit. Okay, but oh no. Okay, I need I need CSS though. Oh CSS. Love this. Okay, so I'll go. You don't need to watch this. I'll get back to you once um, I've done the paper. And we'll see how it goes. I'm also guys to look, it's literally taking me an hour. So this big question right here was like 23 marks. And we basically had to like, it gave us a style sheet, but it was all wrong. And we had to edit the code to make sure like it was right. And it's taken me quite a while because I had to like familiarize, familiarize myself with the code because I haven't done this since like last April or something. Um, but I don't know if it's right or not. I hope it's right. It says it's like working. There's no like errors. Normally these numbers would go red. Um, so I hope it's right. I'm not sure if it's like structured the best way, but I tried to structure it the best way that is readable to me. So we'll just see. Hopefully that's right. But I just carry on because um, there's only one page left, which is good. So oh, that was my stomach. Okay, guys, I've just finished the the whole test, and I'm going to show you. If you don't, if you don't do ICT GCSE, if you don't know what like what you do for like HTML with our GCSE, they basically we have to like either like design a website or edit a website, and the websites are always so ugly. Like, let me show you. This is what it was supposed to look like. Well, this is what I did. But like this, there we go. You can kind of see it. So it's like mustard yellow tags, like horrible brown and maroon salami background the font is like literally so disgusting and like this is supposed to be like like a really dark cyan it's so it's just gross like why even why even like do that but basically i need to go print these now but i need to email it because the printer only works with the computer downstairs then i need to go through the mark scheme and it's like already nine o'clock i should have done this earlier but hey home you only live once so if I look a bit like strange, I'm not using my stand right now, I'm literally just using my hand if you can see in the reflection. Um, but yes, I've got the printouts. I've tried to mark it, but literally the mark scheme is so confusing. I marked the HTML one because that was easy, but the Excel mark scheme is like freaking confusing, so I don't understand that. But I will just like, I mean, I've done it, because she's going to mark it anyways, but like I've attempted it and like I got the printouts and everything, so... I'm ready for school tomorrow, slay, and now it's dinner time, so I'm going to go downstairs. I'll get some dinner. Let's see what's for dinner because I actually don't know what is for dinner, but yeah. Okay, let's go. And then we're going to go watch Dance Mums. Have a good Dance Mums. Oh my god, I think it's Nationals. I think it's Season 2 Nationals. You know what that means, guys? We're going to be watching The Last Text. Oh my god, I wish this lens could zoom. God, so today is chicken pasta bake, but I don't like cheese. So I, my mum makes like a quarter of the dish without cheese for me and then like the three quarters of the dish with cheese. But yeah, so I'm going to watch Dance Moms and all the things. So I'm actually going to leave this vlog here. So if you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. And do all the things you know what to do. Make sure to go check out my other vlogs and my other videos. And I will do an update on my channel soon. But like, okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>